Hello everyone, today we are going to look into multipliers. There are two types of multipliers. The first one is array multiplier, which I call a parallel multiplier. Second one is serial multiplier. And I will explain the differences between the two when I get to the individual details. But uh, what I want to mention here is multipliers, and you will see again we use adders. So adder is still a key component of the of any arithmetic operation that we are performing. Multiply and add are very important components of any algorithm for most of the algorithm related to digital signal processing, image processing, video processing, or what becomes very famous these days is deep neural network or artificial neural networks. For example, if you look at a typical example, I'm not going into explaining what um, this type of network, but just to give you an idea of how multipliers are used here, this is an input layers, output layers, and hidden layers. For each node, what happens is you take the input, multiply with a parameter, and then it, another input comes from another one, also multiplied by another parameter, and then they're added and their addition is accumulated uh, stored uh, we will look into sequentials in the in the next section after combinational and then the same action happens on this one the next stage multiply it and then comes from all three stages so this just to give you an idea how much multiplication is happening and how many additions are happening uh, so having a good multiplier, a good adder, is very important for the delay or latency or how long it takes to calculate a multiplication or addition. And just a, a motivation for you to understand why multipliers are super important. Now the very first one I said is array multiplier. It, it's a multiplier which, which you calculate the output in a parallel way. What I mean by that, let's look into a typical multiplication uh, in, in a decimal system. And a binary system follows the same. So again, like every other uh, circuit that I look into, first we look into the concept of it, the logic of it. And then from that logic, we create a hardware. So binary, before binary, we're all familiar with the decimal. And it's the same concept applies uh, onto the binary so let's understand the decimal first so if you look at i have two decimal numbers 14 and 13 and i want to multiply them so what happens is first i pick the first decimal the least uh, significant bit of the multiplier and this is multiplicand and this multiplier okay so i take three and i multiply with four first 12 one carry 3 multiply with 1, 4, 3, sorry, and then I add 1, 4. So carry output is actually a, I put uh, this 0 is in a different sense when we add that. So don't get confused there. Maybe it's better if I rub this. Okay. So if you look at and then when you go to the next one, this one is actually not one, it's at a 10th position in the decimal case. So it's not one, it's actually 10, right? So when you multiply one with four, you're actually multiplying 10 with four, which is 40. So what happens is you always start putting things at a shifted one so still one multiplied by four is four but since as a 10 position you start writing it here you don't start from the one's unit number and what happens is these individuals are called partial products and then you start adding them the very first one you don't have anything to add so it comes as is the second one okay you add then there is a is a, can be a carry out or zero or one and then when you add that to it has come there can be another carry out but in this case we don't so that's decimal exactly same thing applies to um, the binary case 
And I will explain the very basic, simple implementation, not trying to uh, optimize it for any um, power performance and area right now. Just a simple uh, multiplication. So if you look at this one is, we have um, four bit number and this is unsigned. We will look into a sign as well. So this is unsigned. So this is eight, not minus eight, the weight of this location, eight plus four, 12 plus two, 14. So equivalent of that. Then at B, which is multiplier, it is one, 13, so 8 plus 4, 12, and 1, 13. Let's must start multiplying now. So 1, 0. Okay. So you multiply this first, just like here, with all of these. So 1 with 0, 1 with 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And here I create a table. So what is multiplication? And what happens is, so if you look here, when input is 0, B is 0, and multiply is 0. When 0, 1 multiply, since 1 input is 0, output is 0. When multiply 1 and 0, since 1 input is 0, output is 0. And when both inputs are 1, then multiplier, when the multiplying thing should have 1. So you can see that this is very much like an AND gate. Okay. So this, this is like a um, product, a multiplication output. So in, in the same case, let's now look into 1, 0, 0. Whenever this is 1, so what happens is the entire A comes down. Now we go to the second one, zero, and we multiply this with the entire thing, and anything multiply to zero becomes zero. So what we do is we start here because this zero location is actually in binary is two raised to power one location, so which is this location, not this location. So you start here. And this one will be, sorry, this one will be 0, 0, and 0. The next one is this one, and you multiply everything. You start at this location because this is location 2 raised to power 4 weight. This is 2 raised to power uh, 2, sorry, 4 weight. This is 2 raised to power 8 weight. This is 2 raised to power one this is two raised to the power zero so you continues continue to move them back now the last location is zero one 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 okay and then what you do is you just add everything together you add all of them like this just following the same multiplication that we did and how we multiply well actually let's let's um, let's look into a, an implementation of it um, because what happens is in our case the adders they add our typical adder is that we have our half adder that we already studied it takes a one bit b okay and it outputs some one bit and a carry out one. carry in is is zero and this if you remember is a smaller circuit since carry in it is zero uh you, you have a fewer gates implementation for half adder now if you remember the the case of um carry in now we need more gates to implement it. And now because third factor is here, we only had two factors. So this is what we call full adder. So these circuits that we have, they 
um, add individual bits so we cannot just um, so that's the, the very core component of error like in this case we can't have four um, four things All right, let's do that. we cannot add just four bits like that so we will individually add two bits and a carry from the previous stage so in that case you can think it out as stage one because you will be adding this 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 okay once you have output from this stage you will then add that to stage two which means is the output from this will be added to this right and then the finally we have stage three which is really the last stage okay um how let's let's do one more thing here so zero will come as is all right that that's one simplification we don't need any other for that let's think of this picture now how we can fit these half adders or full adders into this wherever possible we will use half adder because that will have less gates and when we don't can't use half adder and we have to use full adder then we will use full adder so two things are important again maybe what we do is in this video i only uh, do this up until now and summarize it and actual uh, half adder full adder i add in the next video so you can think of the first very first thing is you generated partial products and the partial products is really the end this and with each one of these these are the end operations so what happens is b0 this is b0 this is b1 this is b2 this is b3 and this is a0 a1 a2 a3 so first one is really um one second and get between b0 a0 b0 a1 b0 a2 b0 a3 so this one multiply with this first then this one multiply with this one this one multiply with this this one multiply with this one so don't get confused when i explain it you can watch this video again and uh, it's very important that you um, don't just restrict yourself watching the video just uh, use the same numbers that i explain here and do an actual example yourself that's where you will learn so anyway the partial products are generated using and so but once we have and then we need to start adding uh, okay what adders block here so let's do that in the next video i will come up with a the cleaner uh, picture of this and what we do is we we'll start adding and gates and adders so that this example that we had so far we create equivalent hardware uh, in term of logic gates in term of a uh, higher level circuits like half adder or full adder we will add them so that we can calculate the, the binary multiplication see you in the next video thanks bye